one minute ultrasound, this is the evaluation of wall motion abnormalities. We'll start in the parasitical long axis window with the probe marker pointed towards the patient's right shoulder. This gives us a long axis window of the heart, and in this view we can see the anterior septal wall, which is supplied by the LED, and the inferior lateral wall, which is supplied by the circumflex. Now we'll rotate the probe towards the patient's left shoulder with a 90 degree clockwise rotation. This view is nice because we can see all three coronary artery distributions. Here we see the LAD supplying the anterior and anterior septal walls, the RCA supplying the inferior septal and inferior walls, and the circumflex supplying the inferior lateral and anterior lateral walls. Now we'll transition over to the apical four chamber view. To do this, we'll place the patient in the left lateral DQ position and place the probe at the PMI or typically just inferior to the patient's nipple. The probe marker should be pointed towards the bed or to the patient's left axilla. This gives us an apical four chamber view. Now we can see the anterior lateral wall and the apex, which is supplied by the LAD, and the inferior septal wall, which is supplied by the RCA. Wall motion abnormalities can be broken up into normal hypokinesis, akinesis, or dyskinesis. Here's an example on the right of LAD hypokinesis. Notice how only the basal septum, which is supplied by the RCA, is thickening during systole.